<laughs> I knew you couldn't get enough of our sexy content. Let's have a quickie. Hello, all you sexy souls. Thank you so much for pushing play today. It is Mariah with a quickie. And just like this title says, we're going to talk about love bombing. What is it? What are the red flags? Why is it maybe not the most healthy thing for a relationship? And what to do when someone's love bombing you? Also, maybe how to avoid it with a new relationship. So let's get into it. First of all, what love bombing is and maybe what are the signs that you're being love bombed or somebody that you know is in a relationship is maybe being love bombed. Um, Like it says in the name, it's really someone who's experiencing like an overwhelming love, like it's a suffocating thing where typically one partner um, can want to take things really quickly. They're very aggressive about their love. They're needing constant validation. It's that intense declaration, even, you know, that one person on Facebook that's like once or twice a week posting photos of themselves with their um, significant other and like saying all these things like, I love this. This person's my best friend and the love of my life. Like it can just be a little bit too much. And then it's not reciprocated by the other party. So, you know, some people, they love that. They're like, oh, it's it's our love language. That's fine when both parties are okay with that amount of attention. Usually this is that one person that's just far more intense than the other. Um, it can look like over the top with gifts or um, definitely a lot of clinginess. Like we've heard of all the the jokes of like the stage five clinger, um, that can look like a love bomber. Um, typically they're very jealous and possessive people as well. Um, it can be like really intense, really quick. So like the relationship is still really new, but they want to overshare. They want to know everything about you. They want to move in quickly. If that's, you know, part of their relationship at that time, But what happens is those acts and that type of intensity is not sustainable. So it gets flipped really quickly and that person can be like really cold or like completely retreat and like ghost out of nowhere. Sometimes they can even um, get aggressive or angry um, and even manipulative when that same type of love or intensity isn't shared or reciprocated. So it can be just something that's just really intense, which can be really fun. Um, and, and especially if someone got on out of a bad relationship, like that feels good when you're getting so much positive attention, when maybe things didn't end well, or you had your past relationship, um, that person was already really cold or, um, was going downhill for a long time. So that, positive attention feels great, but again, it's not sustainable. And so there's a lot of red flags when it's too much, too soon, a little bit of anger, just not sustainable, right? It can be negative because a lot of times this love bomber doesn't respect boundaries. They're there for their own needs and they're not listening to yours. And in fact, they're frustrated that you're not sharing your love in the same way. They want pretty much a carbon copy of that love language. And we all know we all have different needs and we all express love differently. So that's already a red flag for probably not a sustainable, healthy relationship. Um, It can really make you feel inadequate or um, that something's wrong with you because you're not feeling the same intensity that they are. And so maybe you can be pushed or manipulated into... Um, getting too serious too quickly in a relationship if you're not wanting it. So, you know, there's a few things that can be bad with a love bomber if it's not kind of called out and you're aware of it and set those boundaries early on. Um, But there's another huge red flag that maybe a relationship looks like it's starting as a love bombing relationship, but it's actually a narcissistic love bomber. And they can go in this um, narcissistic love bombing cycle. 
And that actually looks like, you know, like a love bombing, like I had just explained, but then it goes to this really quick, like I said, hot, cold, super fast, like devaluing section or spot in that cycle where um, they can get passive aggressive or manipulative or angry um, because they're not receiving the same things and they want to control everything and they um, are only in it for themselves. So when they're not receiving the same thing, they're giving back there, they can get really frustrated. And then it goes to the next stage in that cycle, which looks like discarding. So typically a sudden breakup or, um, you know, sometimes this looks like I, you don't love me as much as I love you. So I'm just going to leave. And sometimes that can be a manipulation in itself. Um, you know, even threats of harm too, can be a big one for that narcissistic personality. Um, so maybe there's a breakup or some distancing of that relationship, but then that narcissistic love bomber will still hang around and they call it the hovering stage of that cycle, just like a hover or a Hoover (laughs) vacuum, um, or hovering, you know, they're, they're trying to suck them back in or you back in. They might be stalking. They can't let things go. They want you back. Um, which can be a really scary thing to be a part of when you have someone who's, um, gaslighting you or stalking you, or, you know, this intense cycles of like, I love you so much. You're my absolute world to you are garbage. You're the worst thing ever, um, to then like stalking and, and being manipulative or even like using social media, um, to degrade you. But, uh, So that's just things to be aware of what they look like, you know, and some relationships might somewhat look like a little bit of love, love bombing, especially early on. So there's just some things that you can put into place to either avoid that crazy intense high and low, um, or just make sure, you know, you protect yourself from a crazy love bomber. Uh, but that's a big one is, you know, when you're early on in a relationship, you take it to the pace that you both agree on. So if this person really wants to go very quickly, but you're wanting to pump the brakes, you find that thing that you're both okay with. Um, you can create space, really setting and keeping your boundaries. is going to be a big one for you. If that person is continually walking all over your boundaries, that's a giant red flag that they're probably not going to respect your boundaries later on in the relationship either. Um, and another way to maybe avoid a love bombing uh, or a love bomber in a relationship or get too much entangled with one is ask friends opinions. Hey, I'm dating this new person and this is how they're, you know, how they communicate or what they're like. It's not really my jam. What should I do? Or are you noticing this too? Or is it in my head? Um, especially if you have similar friends or outside friends, or even have contact with some of the people that they've dated before. Is it a behavior pattern or is it just something that maybe they're on a crazy intense wave and they really do love you so much, but can they respect your boundaries if you don't want that plastered all over social media and texts at 3 a.m. 3 a.m. that they love you so much and would do anything for you. So um, just some fun things to think about when uh, you're in a new relationship or um, it's just not going the way because they're a little intense. Um, so I could possibly be love bombing. So protect yourself, protect your friends, share the knowledge, share the podcast. Uh, And thank you so much for all those who've shared. And we really appreciate what a wonderful year 2022 has been. We're looking forward to the next year with all of you. Uh, Please continue to share, like, subscribe, head on over to our saltysexcast.com where you can get all of our episodes, links to all of those, but also um, our swag. You can become a patron there and um, just really support our message. Just want to say thank you all. And I will see you next week with an interview episode. Bye. (laughs) Thanks for the quickie. See you next week.